introduction. We will start off with the introduction. The definition of slaughtering. Killing and butchering of animals until it reaches to death is known as slaughter. Slaughter also refers as killing and butchering domestic livestock in a humane way. The most common animals that are slaughtered for food to be consumed by humans are cattle, buffalo, sheep, goats, pigs, horses, fowls, which includes chicken, ducks, and quails, and also fishes. To ensure a quick and relatively painless death, the animal should be stunned into an unconsciousness state prior to the slaughtering, according to the law. The purpose of stunning is to induce and immediate a state of insensitivity and to produce sufficient immobility to facilitate the sticking process to initiate the breeding. The parameters of meat quality There are several specific parameters to analyze the quality of the meat, which is include the color of the meat, the water holding capacity, the pH of the meat, the cooking loss, tenderness, texture, flavor, and the smell of the meat. Age, sex, muscle activity, pH, species, feeding, and oxygen are the factors affecting of the color of the meat. Myoglobin, homoprotein, and hemoglobins are the common pigments that exists in the meat. Different water holding capacity found among the muscles and muscles location of the same muscle due to different amount of lactic acid which affects the pH of the meat. The pH of the meat is related to water holding capacity, cooking loss, tenderness, and pH decrease after the slaughter. Moving to the next slide, which is pre-slaughtering, effect of the slaughter handling on meat and carcass quality. Firstly, improper and poor pre-slaughter handling of animal during farming, loading, transporting, marketing, unloading and stunning have several effects on carcass and meat quality. Among these are mortality, low carcass yields, blood splash, bruises, broken bones, skin blemishes, contaminations by pathogens and FSE and DFD. Moving to the next slide. Animals can be categorized as four different types which are species, breed, sex, and also age. According to the species, non-ruminants which are poultry and chicken are more susceptible to stress compared to ruminants which are sheep cattle and pigs. According to the breed, muscular breed are more susceptible to stress compared to non-muscular breed. Moreover, according to the sex, female and young animal are more susceptible to stress compared to male and older animals. According to the age, layers have tougher meat compared to broilers because they slaughtered at much older age. Moving to the next slide which is farming, 
differences between muscle were greater with an increase in life weight at slaughter possibly due to a higher degree of muscle maturity or solidifier feed consumption next feeding animal on vitamin e improved the oxidative stability also animal feed on grasses produced fat that yellow in color which possible to find out traces of some chemical in the carcasses transportation is a major factor that affects the meat quality transportation begins with loading and hands with unloading both ought to be done in a gentle manner and under a quiet environmental condition during transportation animals are exposed to environmental stress such as heat cold humidity noise and overcrowding over speeding sudden stop and rapid acceleration and long journey without appropriate rest should be avoided to ensure good meat quality next factor that affects the quality of meat is marketing animals are either show, sold at market or sent directly from farm to abattoirs for slaughter in market they may be kept in group or in open pens which may expose them directly to the sun or cold they might encounter stress such as noise and familiar environment and social regrouping they also can thrive or be irritated if feed and water is or be drawn longer than recommended various degree of brushing can also occurs on their skin at the market depending on the way they handle moving to the next factor that affects the meat quality is feeding and watering supervision of feed and water during transportation or marketing is essential if animals are going to be transported or kept in the larage for longer period this is to prevent from starvation and dehydration that can lead to the depletion of muscle glycogen and reduction in weight overfeeding and watering should also be avoided as this increases gut feel cost processing time and a higher possibility of contamination from gut feel aging is also became a factor that affects the meat quality at pre slaughter stage the larage is also provide animal with some amount of recovery from stress during transport animal movement should be observed for any possible injuries or infection Larage can be a major source of meat quality product problems. Animals may suffer from different degree of brushings and injuries as a result of fighting and overcrowding. Larage can also act as a severe of infections by pathogenic bacteria and also have increase the risk of carcass contamination. Careless and improper handling of animals in larage, such as the use of electric goat, obstructing the movement of animals through race, batting and firm grip of the coat with the hand, exposure of animals to microbial contamination will adversely affect the meat and carcass quality. as the last factor of pre-saltering process which affects the meat quality is stunning pre-salter handling perhaps and with stunning method once the animal is stunned it's made unconscious and sensitive to pain stop unless stunning is not done properly the type of stunning equipment used can also contribute to the quality of meat that will be produced high voltage head to back electric stunning can induce vertebral compression fractures blood flash and also poor meat quality in pigs
post salter post salter means all the activity and process that animal undergo after salter are known as the post salter post salter changes on meat quality second cutting of the carcasses into part insignificant meat loss or reduction of meat quality happen during the cutting of the piece of all the meat because may fall off and do not enter the food chain almost average loss of 2 kg of in every 100 kg meat of salter during cutting they may come in contact with the spoilage microorganisms such as atrobacteria which can be found in cutting knife chopping table and other equipment this microorganism cause spoilage and lowering the shelf life of the quality of meat the storage condition Speeding up the rate of chilling will help reduce the microbial growth on the carcass surface. Second, fast chilling. Fast chilling reduces the evaporate of weight loss, reduces the appearance of pale and soft excretive meat, and improves the color and water holding capacity. All these have a negative effect on meat quality. The rate at which temperature drop after salt was influenced on the enzyme activity. Different cooling rate affect pH fall through lactic acid production and disappear at the ATP. When the muscle are cooled below 10 degrees Celsius, before the one set rigor motive, cool shortening occur which make the meat thaw when cooking. Slow freeze. Moving to the next slide. Processing procedure and condition. Decontamination method have been applied to reduce the initial microbial load on the carcasses and prolong the shelf life of the meat. Second, odd processing. This method is used to increase the yield and promote more uniform color on the processing procedure and condition. Decontamination. This method is used to reduce the initial microbial load on the carcasses and prolong the shelf life of the meat. Second, Art processing. This method is used to increase the yield and promote more uniform color and better water holding capacity. But it reduces the tenderness and promote abnormal shape of joint and difficult in handling such meat. Third process is dumpling, which increase the weight of the meat by loosening the protein, and it also improve the meat tenderness and juiciness while cooking. Move. Move to the next point, which is electrical stimulation. This process is reduce the risk of cool shortening and improve the meat tenden tendency by stimulating the muscle contraction, lowering the meat pH, and speeding up the rigor motif. During the electrical stimulation, defects such as broken bone and reduced bleeding can occur. Moving to the next slide, which is cooking procedures which improve on the sensory characteristic by mild reaction and fat oxidation to make meat more palatable and edible. Moreover, temperature control kills both spoilage and pathogenic microorganism making meat safer to eat and extending its shelf life. Also, improve the quality of meat by making it tender. Moving to the next slide, which is transportation, high rate of contamination and spoilage may occur due to poor handling of meat during transportation. Furthermore, the cold chain must be must not be interrupted as bacteria multiply rapidly in higher temperature. The temperature and handling condition stipulately in regulation must be strictly adapted to be in all stages of the cold chain through, through properly designed handling procedures in the chill storage rooms other than that the most important factor that influence the spoilage and safety of meat is temperature which not only affect the microbial condition of the meat 
but also color stability with the retail appearance being significantly affected by storage at 2 degrees Celsius and 5 degrees Celsius. The color of meat surface will change because different cooling rates affect oxidation or oxygenation of meat. In the nutshell, pre-slaughter and post-slaughter play an important role in meat quality. Pre-slaughter handling errors can result in animal death, carcass damage, a reduction in life weight, pale soft executive meats, and dark firm dry meats. Post-slaughter practices have been designed to produce meat of higher quality despite the fact that some of these practices have a negative impact on meat quality. That's all from us. Thank you.